Hi there, it's Tim and I'm here in front of Rapid Glide. They've let me out one of their very unique vehicles. This is called the Super Glide 40. Don't! 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 And it is a beast. Let's uh, get off from um, the nice big fat tires in the very, very front. So you can, huge light at the very front. Very big shock absorbers. At the back, you can notice something really kind of cool. This seat, you can sit on it or you can lift it and stand on it like a scooter. Huge deck for hanging out. <laughs> Just lots and lots of room. I think this would be really awesome for as a commuter electric vehicle. Um, at the back, you're going to see two huge batteries. These are 48 volt, 20 amp hour batteries and one big 750 watt uh, motor at the very back. So what we're going to do is a traditional route. We'll do that route through Victoria really quick and um, I'll tell you my thoughts afterwards. Alright, next is the hill climb. We're going to take this straight up the hill climb and time it. And if you'd like to see the times for the other ones, I'll just put that on the screen. Basically, we're going to be comparing it to the 010, the 010X, the 08, and the 09. I'll put that on the screen next. Alright, so 42 and a half seconds. Oh, what I do like is that I can use my hands, take my hand off the handlebar and indicate my intentions. That's nice. Hydraulic brakes, they are very strong and powerful. I like that. Yeah, this is very comfortable. The, um, the suspension is really nice. The brakes are responsive and uh, in a seated position, it's actually quite comfortable. Looks like I was doing about 45 kilometers an hour there. We'll find out in the straightaway here what sort of speed um, is normal for sort of a top speed in the highest gear, fifth gear here. So on the downhill slope, it hit 45, slight downhill, big flat area, 45 kilometers an hour, no problem. Lighting's probably good this way. Yeah. Rolling. Well, that was a delightful ride. Um, you know, riding through Victoria on a beautiful summer's day is amazing anyway. But with the Super Glide, it was, it was a lot like driving what I imagine riding around on a Harley would be like. You know, you're leaning back, 
Um, I did find that this was kind of useful, the uh, flipping this up. I think it could be really useful, especially if you wanted to put like maybe a great big basket on here or some weight on here. I think it would be very, very sturdy. That's one thing you notice and feel when you're on this. It's, it's extremely sturdy. Um, the fat tires, the suspension, and the brakes make it feel really, really, really strong and uh, you feel safe. Um, Speed-wise, I noticed I was probably cruising most of the time around 30, 25 to 30 kilometers an hour, but um, if I wanted to, I could go right up with level five, right up to about, probably about 45, 46 kilometers an hour without much of an issue at all. And uh, I, you know what, I'm delighted with it. Um, the horn is pretty loud. <laughs> so thank you very much for riding the glide for, uh, for showing me this particular unit. Uh, it does have undercarriage lighting and this huge light at the front, which I think I mentioned at the beginning. But um, timing up the side of the mountain there, that t the timing going up the side of the hill, uh, that was uh, 43 seconds. And um, I think that was, uh, you know, a very comfortable ride. So overall, two thumbs up from Tim in beautiful Victoria, British Columbia. I just want to say a very special thank you to Michael for filming and getting behind the scenes. And was that fun or was that fun? Oh, that's a blast. It's a blast, what a great yeah. day. Beautiful summer's day. There's very special thank you to Ride the Glide for providing the machine. And if you're interested in buying something like this, make sure you contact them.